All right, we're live. I'm going to give you guys a minute or two, as always, to get on here and start chatting and announcing yourselves in the comments so that I know you're here. Um, and I can, oh, I got two viewers, so I know somebody's watching. Woohoo! Um, hope everybody's having a good week. It's been a very interesting week. A lot of stuff going on. A lot of ideas flying through my head. Stuff to help you guys out. I love the feedback. What's up, Alan? How's it going? <clears throat> Talking today about optimal fitness. What does it mean to be fit? Hey, Loretta, how you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm still learning. This is only the third one of these I've done, so I'm still learning about all the uh, all the buttons and all the squiggly lines and dashboard of information that they got here. We're up to five viewers apparently. I just learned how to tell how many people were actually watching this thing. Six, six viewers. Woohoo! This is awesome. Okay. Hey, Alana. Happy Tuesday to you. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. As you guys pop in, feel free to announce yourself. If you have any questions throughout, just ask in the chat. I will try to keep up with what's going on in there. Hey, Carla, how you doing? We got two Carlers, Carla and Carla, nice. All right, we are talking about optimal fitness. What does it mean to be optimally, optimally, optimally healthy, okay, and to fit? Um, everybody's got a different opinion. Everybody's got a different picture in their head of fitness. If you talk to any one person out in the, in the world, you're going to, uh, yes, both with a K, you're going to get a different answer, right? You go up to one person, you say, what does a fit, you know, what does fitness mean to you? And they're going to say, um, if you can run a 5K, you're fit. Somebody else is going to say, if you can squat 300 pounds, then you must be fit. Someone else is going to say, if you look like a bodybuilder, you must be fit. Um, someone else, it's going to be different. Everyone's going to have a different opinion. Some people may just say, if you're skinny, you must be fit, right? So there's a different perception. And that's probably the biggest thing to understand is that when it comes to what is optimal, there's really two ways that we classify it because we want to put bounds that are realistic and general enough that they're attainable for most people, okay? So there's going to be two things that we talk about when we talk about optimal fitness. One is the most important one. It is the overriding... Um, factor that kind of determines where you are and that is what do you need in order to function and have a good quality of life okay what is your goal what are the things that you're trying to do in your day-to-day -day life and what does your fitness level need to be in order to make that happen okay that's the first one your individual situation where you are where you want to go what you want to do the issues that you're dealing with the stress you need to handle whatever what things about fitness can we talk about that are going to help you improve your quality of life? That's number one. Number two is if we talk about generalization, okay, we talk about uh, the general idea of what makes a, a person fit, okay? What are the things that someone who is generally fit can, you know, what are the things they can do? And that has changed over the years. Um, everybody, again, it's really hard to quantify that because um, if you talk to some people, they may have an, a, a bias towards one portion of fitness, maybe strength things. Someone else may have a bias towards more things that are maybe more endurance based. So you can't just say any one or the other. So we have to kind of uh, spread that across the spectrum of all things fitness and say there's some benchmarks and there's some things within each of the components of fitness that someone should be able to do or demonstrate an ability to perform at a certain level, okay? So that's what we're talking about when we talk about a generalized, the for the for the general human in any given circumstance, these are things that someone should be able to do, okay? There are hundreds, I'll say hundreds, there's probably more, I'll say hundreds. If you go on Google, I'm gonna go on Google right now. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna type in um, basic fitness test. 
All right. Simple fitness tests you can do at home. How fit are you? See how you measure up. Army basic fitness. Six ways to test your overall fitness. At home fitness test. Six fitness tests to gauge your overall progress. 10 ways to test your fitness. The complete fitness assessment. Home fitness test, right? That's just page one. Okay. There are hundreds, hundreds. Hey, what's up, Sandy? There are hundreds of different things you can find on a fitness test. Okay. If you want to use those, that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, whatever works best for you. Okay. We're going to talk. The second piece of what we're going to talk about tonight is going to be how to determine what the components of fitness are and where you should find tests. Okay. I actually happen to have a blog that we can reference. All right. First things first. The first aspect of optimal fitness is you and your goals. Okay. Where are you? What are the things that are impacting your lifestyle? And how do you get to a point of fitness that your fitness can mitigate those issues? All right. Uh, basically, it's, it's really simple. What is the thing that is driving you the, the, the craziest right now or, the, or impacting you the most negatively? And what is the aspect of fitness that's going to help with that? Okay, we'll use that as, in, as we'll use an example of uh, chronic pain, joint pain, right? We've had people in the group ask about this recently, uh, and it's something that I see all the time. My knee hurts all the time. My, my back hurts all the time. My shoulder hurts all the time. The number one thing for most of those issues is to develop strength and proper movement patterns, okay? So develop strength, flexibility in those joints and to, to provide a, a movement system that doesn't strain and cause pain in the bone and the joints and the cartilage, but the muscles and the tendons are strong enough to support the movement and any stress that is put on those joints, okay? So for that person, if the number one thing in your life is joint pain, then for you, one of the things at the top of your list that you need to address when it comes to the components of fitness is strength and flexibility, okay? If you are, you don't have joint pain, and you have an issue where, hey, I wanna go play with my kids or go out for a walk and play with my dog in the yard every day, but I can't because after five minutes, I'm tired, I'm out of breath, I gotta stop and take a break. And they get frustrated because they only get to spend five or 10 minutes outside with me uh, because I just can't hang and play with them, right? Then maybe the number one thing on your list to work on initially is going to be endurance or stamina doing things that's going to help increase your ability to take part in that activity. Okay. So there are 10 components, right? We talked about this last week. If you're not, if you don't remember what the 10 components are of fitness, um, you know what? I want to post it in here while we're here. Oh, can I do a picture in here? I cannot do a picture in here. All right. So we'll do that uh, again. If you go to last week's video, okay. Um, I posted the 10 components of fitness, right? We're talking about, um, Endurance, stamina, strength, flexibility, power, speed, coordination, accuracy, agility, and balance. All of these things have direct impact on something that you do every day, maybe something that you're dealing with as a challenge or something that you want to be able to do that you can't do because you don't have a level of performance in one of these areas. All right. So the first thing to do when you're looking at what do I need to do to improve my fitness is what are the things in my life that I want to address, improve, and what are the components of fitness that are going to help me do that? Okay. So does that kind of give everybody a starting point for those, for you guys that are on here? Uh, does that make sense? Does that hit home with anybody? I hope. And I'll ask this while we're while we're going back and forth with the with the chat. Who already has a program, and is are they happy with what it's doing for them? Because that's another piece of it. You always have to evaluate what program you're using and if it's giving you kind of the the things that you're looking for. Okay. Good, 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 good. Yes, yes. Awesome. Yes. Another yes. Totally makes sense. Yes. Yay. Good. All right. Sometimes I have to ask because sometimes I start going on a ramble. And uh, if it doesn't make sense, you guys need to stop me and tell me to come back to earth. Okay. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Okay. Uh, just a couple examples of some things. Like I said, stamina endurance is a common thing that people deal with. Um, strength. Uh, for me, 
strength is probably the number one thing that no matter what issue you have, okay, developing strength is going to improve every other aspect, okay? Of all of the 10 aspects and components of fitness, I always try to focus on some level of strength first, okay? Because being strong is going to bleed into all of the other things. You're going to be more efficient with energy, which is going to increase your stamina and endurance a little bit. It's going to make your, your speed and power more effective. Um, it's just, it helps with everything. It helps with balance. It helps with accuracy and movement. It helps with all kinds of stuff, okay? So my recommendation is if you're going to start a program, always start a program that no matter what else it includes, make sure it has some level of strength training, okay? Resistance training, even if it's just body weight, you can do a lot of strength training with just body weight, particularly if you have medical issues, joint issues, um, if you if you just, if, if weights are too much, you don't have the room, whatever it may be. Um, if you're just getting started, you can do a lot of strength training with just your body weight, all right? So keep that in mind. Hey, Carla, awesome. Starting from zero, don't know where to start at 60. Good, we are, we are starting right now. You are on this call, you are starting the process, okay? You should be proud of that. You're doing more than you were doing before. You're getting information and you're learning where to start. And that's, that's the first step, okay? So be proud of yourself for that. Um, if you, for, and I'll just say, since I just talked about body weight stuff, if you're in the group, then go to the announcements, go to the pinned post, and there is a download for free of a three day a week workout program that you can start doing now, okay? There's videos, there's instructions, it's all there. Just go there, download that. And that is a great place to start. If you see a movement in that download that you're not sure how to do, or you have a situation with an injury or physical limitation, and you don't know how to, to modify or do that workout, ask. Post in the group, say, hey, I'm trying to do this movement. I got bad knees, I can't do it. What's a modification or option? And if I don't get to it, I'm sure some of the more um, senior or advanced experienced um, people in the group can help you figure that out, okay? That's what the group is for. We wanna help you find what works for you. So please ask all the questions in the world. We love them. Okay. Um, all right. So body weight is a great way to go. Download the thing in the announcement. Start doing that today. Okay. Maybe not today because it's nighttime. Tomorrow, do that first thing in the morning. All right. Um, general fitness stuff. All right. And I am going to post this because this is something that I can post as soon as it loads up. Um, if you guys have not been to the blog site on my website, the blog page on my website, um, go check it out. I have a lot of great stuff that you guys are all going to love, right? This is a blog that I wrote a few weeks ago on how to find, how to set some benchmarks and goals. All right. Um, did, it, did it post? and enter. All right, I'm not sure if that went through because it's not showing up on my end, um, but I just sent a blog. If you go to my blog site, it's called Fitness Goals You Should Start With, all right? And basically it just gives you a, there we go. It just gives you a generic place to start. And we talk about the 10 components of fitness. We talk about how fitness directly relates to your health because your fitness improves your metabolism. Your metabolism, by definition, is your health, okay? So the more things you can do to address all the aspects of fitness, the better. Um, remember, a starting point is what is going to impact you the most. Start where it's going to impact you the most. Work into the other pieces. Eventually, you're going to need to work into all the other pieces. You can't just say, I need to work on endurance, and then the rest of your life, you only work on endurance, okay? Okay. You need to work on strength. You need to work on balance. You need to work on coordination, all those other things. So when we talk about what works for you and where should you start, that's where we're talking about what's going to impact your life the most. Then you can kind of go through the rest of the things on the list and try to build all of it into a routine um, as it fits your lifestyle and schedule and that kind of stuff. Okay. That's maybe another video we'll talk about in how to find the, the right program or the right routine for you or how to take a routine and make it fit your lifestyle, um, because that's something that people do with a lot. 
Okay. Um, so in this blog, we talk about a bunch of things. We talk about setting goals. I have three benchmarks. Okay. They start at a basic level. All right. And the basic level, okay, is what I'm saying for this is a basic level. Okay. That doesn't mean anything compared to where you are. The base, the benchmark number one in this blog may be a whole list of things you cannot do right now. Okay. And that is absolutely fine. All right. What we can do if you have questions and if you look at this stuff and say, I can't do any of these things, then just ask, hey, what's a, what's a, another scale or another version of this that can I can set as a goal for myself based on where I am? I am perfectly willing and, and happy to help you guys set goals. So if you have specific things, if you feel like the benchmarks in this blog um, are too much for you where you are right now, then let's, then, then let's talk about that. We can... We can have a whole thread on what are some goals to start when you're starting from zero, okay? Carla, I like it, you started from zero. Sandy, I think you were asking earlier about um, the issues with having pain and, and working out and stuff like that. Shoot me a message, guys. If any of you are having issues that you don't feel comfortable posting in the group or you wanna get a lot more detail into things, shoot me a message. I'm more than happy to talk to you and help figure stuff out. We can talk about figuring out some solutions and maybe giving you some options on ways that you can address your 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 things and, and get better from where you are okay please i love talking to everybody um that's what it's all about so basically guys um the general goals and we'll take a look at this we'll just go through this blog real quick um the general goals have to do with the 10 components right Building strength, strength in pulling motion, strength in pushing motion, strength in squatting, strength in picking things up off the floor, okay? Strength in holding yourself in positions, okay? We want to make sure that you can get full full range of motion in your hips, in your knees, in your shoulders, that you can bend over without hurting your lower back, right? Those are some of the basic things um, that you can do in this level, one, this level one, right? That you can do 10 minutes of cardio without having to stop and take a break. If you're at a point where you can walk a mile, um, but you have to stop and take a break every five minutes, then this is a great goal for you. I want to be able to, to walk or jog, right? Preferably, preferably jog as this as a benchmark here for 10 minutes without without stopping. Maybe you don't even care about how far you got. Maybe just like I'm going to walk at a super fast pace or jog at a really slow pace, but something more than a stroll in the park for 10 minutes, that's a goal. Boom, there you go. Start working towards that. Get up and do one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes until you can get to 10. And then the question is, now what? Right, because that's the cool thing about goals. The cool things about fitness is whatever goals you set, however far you get, there's always something else. Your body is always wanting to get better because we, we live for growth. We live for improvement. We live for better performance. That's what our bodies and our brains are wired to do, okay? Uh, what are you saying, Sandy? I've become weak. I exercise daily. It's more. it because of lack of strength. Okay, uh, yes, Sandy. There's a bunch of different things when it comes to why you're getting sore. Um, I don't know what type of things you're doing. I don't. You say you're work exercising daily. I don't know. I I can't speak for the workout that you're doing. Um, it could be too much work. It could be that you need to take a break. Um, it could be that the, the volume, number, the amount of work you're doing each day is just too much for where you are right now. Um, variety is another big piece to look at when you're doing exercises. Are you switching things up and doing different things different days? Um, in general, and this is a guideline for you guys to think about, in general, either the movement patterns or the amount of weight or reps, one of those three, needs to vary within a two to three day period. So you don't want to lift, like you don't want to squat heavy on a Monday and then squat heavy on a Tuesday or Wednesday, okay? If you're going to squat heavy on a Monday, you probably want to wait till a Thursday before you try to squat heavy again, right? You don't want to do um, a whole bunch of burpees on a Monday and then do a whole bunch of burpees on a Tuesday, right? You maybe want to wait till Thursday to do some burpees or do something different that's high, high rep and high movement like a burpee, but not necessarily a burpee. So you wanna make sure that you're giving yourself some variation every 48 to 72 hours. So that could be another reason why you're having pain. Um, 
yeah, movement patterns is a huge thing when it comes to evaluating why there may be discomfort in your working out without having someone look at you, uh, which is another really, really, really big piece, guys. Um, if you don't have someone looking at what you're doing, um, it's very possible you're doing things wrong, limiting your progress and or setting yourself to get hurt, right? So that is why, all right? I don't know if you guys noticed. I think I did it Thursday. I'm planning on doing this every Thursday. Hold on, let me double check. Thursdays, yes. Every Thursday, I'm going to be posting and asking you guys to send me movement videos of you doing exercises. So in the group, when you see that post, add a comment, throw a video up there, right? Here's me doing box squats or lunges or burpees or pull-ups or kettlebell swings or air squats, whatever it may be. And I will try, I may not get to all of them. If you guys inundate me and I get 300 uh, videos of movement, I won't be able to get to all of them, but I will try to get to them and, and, and answer questions and make suggestions and actually give you some feedback on how you're moving, okay? So that's that's really something I wanna be able to do for you guys, okay? Um, hope that helps a little bit, Sammy, right? So uh, feel free to, and, and again, I think I said, feel free to send me a message if you have more details or if you want me to spend a little bit of time with you one-on-one -on -one and come up with some plans, and give you some options on things to do, okay? I'd love to help you with that. All right, guys, we are 25 minutes in. I hope that was helpful information. Um, again, the first thing to do is identify where you think you need the most work. That's a great place to start. From there, once you feel like that issue is becoming addressed and that your, your quality of life is improving from there, then start looking at the other 10 components of fitness and figuring out how can you work on these things combined into a full actual fitness program or routine that's gonna improve all the aspects of, of life, okay? So uh, if you didn't know, we do I do have a, an app that you can subscribe to, $39.99 a month. Um, we do fitness programs, it's a, it, it's, it is a fitness program. You get five workouts a week. Uh, there's a group of, of people in here now that are doing it. Um, you know, Alana was on here doing it. My mom does it. She's not on the live right now, but if you guys get a chance to, if you didn't know Claire Dant on the app or in the group is my mom. Um, so yeah, she's been doing it. She's been a client of mine, a client, I say for almost seven years now. So, um, she's 67. She didn't get started until she was 60 guys. It can be done. Trust me. Okay. Um, and then if you want to get started with something for free, the body weight exercises that are in the announcement, the pin post at the top of the page, go ahead and download that, um, start doing that. And if you have any questions, just ask. All right, guys, I hope you guys have a great week. I'll see you again next Tuesday. I don't have a topic yet, but if you guys keep asking questions and inter interacting in the group like you do, I'm sure I'll have something pretty soon. Uh, hopefully that will help you guys out a lot. All right, take it easy. See you soon.